What's up, bro? What up? Were you at Chili's? Yeah, we were at Chili's. How'd you know I was at Chili's? I had some people in here telling me you were. I got sources. <laughs> I asked them. I said, how did you know? And they said that one of their friends saw you or something. But... Yeah, I was just, just chilling. Well, I appreciate you doing this, man. Yeah, thanks for having me on. No problem. So you've already uh, visited a few schools, Marquette, and go to Memphis and Indiana. Speaking of Indiana, the love, the Indiana love in here right now is crazy. Yeah, they're, they're, fan, they're fan bases for real. Like, before you joined, I was like, you know, where do y'all want Dawson to go to college? And like 80% all Indiana. So, yeah, yeah it's great. It's show, love, it's show love. For sure. Um, do you have any more visits planned right now? Yeah, so I'm going to Marquette. Uh, I'll leave on Friday. Okay. Next weekend. Gotcha. Is that the only one that, that you have planned out right now? Yep. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so you've already visited Marquette in the past, um, several months back. Um, what do you remember from that, and how did it go? I just remember uh, feeling really comfortable with the coaching staff and just – kind of hanging out with the players. Um, I know I knew some of them because they went to high school here in Minnesota, so I was already kind of cool with them. I uh, had a good time as well as just just the uh, the fan base there as well is cool. They play at the Buck Center, so those are some good takeaways from that school. Gotcha. And, and how do you think this the visit this weekend, um, if it'll be any different, how so? Uh, I just think it'll be more intense, I guess, because my, my decision is coming to – I guess I'm planning on making this decision by uh, November 20th, so coming up here soon. So, okay, uh, yeah, gotcha. And what would you say your relationship is like um, with the coaching staff there, and how often y'all talk? Uh, I say we talk a lot. Um, they just they've uh, they've been recruiting me for a couple of years now, so I know them very well. And so it's good. Okay, and and they already have a couple commitments. Do you talk to either of those guys um, or anybody on the team there at all? Yeah, also and Justin. Um, I talk to them once in a while. I'm pretty cool with them. You know, I went to uh, USA with Justin. So, gotcha. Um, and then your Minnesota visit. How did that go? It was good. Just being at the um, hometown. Uh, something about staying home. So that's kind of what I like about uh, Minnesota. How long have they been recruiting you? I want to say since my freshman year. Okay, freshman year. Gotcha. And what would you say your relationship is like with, um, you know, their head coach um, and the rest of the coaching staff? Yeah, um, super close with Patino, Linstead, Jeter, uh, Conroy, all those guys, just because they're like, I mean, I live like probably like 20 minutes away from campus. So I've been on a ton of unofficial visits, just going up there, hanging out with them a lot. So it's been good. Gotcha. And they already have a couple commitments as well. Have you been talking to either of those guys? Yeah, uh, Martis, I actually went on my official the same weekend he did. So we okay. got to know each other pretty well. Okay, cool. Do you feel any pressure, you know, to stay home and go to Minnesota? Yeah, I mean, I feel a little pressure. But at the end of the day, uh, I just told people, I guess, respect my decision wherever I go. But if that if it does happen to be home, that would be pretty sweet because I got a lot of uh, people around surrounding me from here. Definitely, definitely. And then your Memphis visit, uh, tell us about that. It was sweet, you know, just seeing Penny, Mike, Cody. I'm super close with all of them, really. And it was just cool to see. Uh, I went on pro day, so there was like uh, – there was like, I want to say over 90 NBA – uh, scouts there uh -huh. and so that was just cool to see um and just really what uh, penny and mike are doing for the whole program because they don't really have to be coaching co college basketball they're just doing it to get back to the kids and help them get to uh their ultimate dreams where they've already been definitely definitely and then your indiana visit um what was it like being in bloomington and how did that visit go it was great um just going there with trey trey and anthony actually came up um, great relationship with them, as well as the uh, players that are already on the team. It just kind of feels like I felt at home, really. Um, they did a great job just showing me around. Met kind of like the other coaches that I haven't really met before. And the basketball piece, too, is crazy. Like, obviously, like you mentioned, their fan base 
Definitely the best fan base that's recruiting me right now. They're unreal. Gotcha. Gotcha. And you and you also, uh, for the people that are watching this that don't know what was happening before this, is you met with um, some of the Indiana coaches tonight. Who did you meet with, and, and what did y'all talk about? Uh, I just met with uh, Tommy Ostrom, and we were just – he was just talking to me, um, asking me kind of when I was going to make my decision. And um, I told him – I told him I'd probably probably make it before the first signing date, so November November twentieth. And he was just saying like, "That's great. Like they feel great where they're at, and they just want to um, get Archie in front of my face one more time before I uh, make my ultimate decision." Gotcha, gotcha. And you also mentioned Trey and Anthony. What's your relationship like with those guys? Oh, it's great because I mean I've known them for a long time growing up. Indiana Elite D one Minnesota. It's always been a battle, so. Uh, we, we actually roomed at the Adidas All-American camp together, so I've known them. I'm pretty close with them and have been for a while. Gotcha, gotcha. And you also included uh, UNC, Arizona, and Kansas on your list. What do you like about um, those schools? Uh, you went, I mean, UNC, it was a great. Roy Williams had a great relationship with him and Hubert. Just really the tradition there and all that, as well as uh, Arizona. Obviously, Zeke going there. Um, I'm really cool with Zeke. Played on D.O. Minnesota. So, just connections like that. And then you also say Kansas? Yeah. Yeah, Kansas. I mean, just the tradition there as well. Um, Coach Roberts, Coach Self, cool with them as well. So, we'll just see what uh, what plays out. Gotcha. And, and what would you say has been the most enjoyable part um, of the recruiting process? Uh, I would just say – continuing to learn and perfect my craft, just coaches giving me feedback and advice, as well as just the relationships that I'm continuing to build with uh, just great people. What about the toughest part of the recruiting process? Definitely, like, telling schools, like, no, and, like, just being respectful, calling them if you have a great relationship with them. That will definitely, if you're going forward, I think that will definitely be the hardest part as well because as I get down to these, like, final, like, five, six schools, like, calling those guys that I'm super close with will be definitely tough for me. What about like early on in, well, not early on in the recruiting process, but before you cut your list, when you had, you know, more than the schools on your list now contacting you, you know, for example, what if it was a school like, um, I don't, I don't want to say a specific school, but like a school that you knew, like you weren't going to be going to, like, how do you kind of like, you know, like tell the coach, like, you know, yeah. like, do you, do you still pick up the phone or do you just tell them straight up, like, you know, I appreciate your time, but I'm not really interested? Or, <laughs> like, what do you say? Yeah, so for a while, um, since I didn't really have, like, an older brother or anyone that's been through the recruiting process that kind of, like, guided me through it. So I would always just pick up the phone and have conversations regardless who it was. Okay. And uh, that ended quickly because that became, like, it was, I mean, it was a lot, super stressful. So uh, I ended up, uh, my dad always said, told me that, the best an- or the best answer is yes. The second best answer is no, because their time's valuable too. So I would always just if I didn't if I didn't really rock with them like that, I would just be like, no, coach, I appreciate all your time, appreciate you recruiting me, but um, I just don't think that this will be a good fit. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I got you. Um, and what do you what do you think? What would you say is the best um, your or your favorite part uh, of the college visits? You know, trying on the jersey, talking to the players. What would you say? Uh. I would definitely say just get a chance to be around the players and just um, see what they're like and see if it's a good fit. That was probably my best, my best, my favorite part of it. So you said, you know, you're coming down to making your decision. What are some things, you know, um, that you're looking for? Uh, some things I'm looking for is just really, I guess, my relationship with the coaches as well as um, – I guess what they're going to do for me on the basketball court as well, like how I'm going to play in their system, um, kind of my role early on. And, um, yeah, those are probably the biggest takeaways for that. Gotcha. And when did you say that you were, you know, trying to make your decision about? Uh, November 20th. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. All right, man, that's all the questions I had for you. I appreciate you taking the time out. Awesome. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. All right, man, I appreciate you. All right, see you.